Hey guys, I've been bullet journaling for about a year now, and I love how it helps me organize my life and stay on track with my goals. There are so many wonderful layouts out there that I've tried in the past, but I wasn't finding any spreads that had the exact functionality I needed, so I eventually came up with this horizontal layout that's a daily and weekly spread in one. I've been really loving it, and I hope it can help some of you as well. If you don't know what bullet journaling is, I'll link a helpful video here. But for those of you that are familiar, what this spread includes is a space for weekly goals, an overview of the week's major appointments at the top, an hourly breakdown as you go through each day, and a small space here for weather. All this without having to flip back and forth from weekly to daily pages while also having plenty of room to write things in. I also work two jobs where I need to be tracking my hours, so I've used a color coding system that helps me visually see and keep track of when and how long I'm working, as well as personal development time and time with family and friends. Keep watching if you'd like to see how I create this layout, and I will also include timestamps in the description so you can jump around to different parts of the video quickly. So the first thing I do is I take my journal and I flip it in the horizontal position, and then I grab my gray midliner highlighter, which you can use any highlighter in any color you want, but I really like these highlighters because they don't bleed through, they come in a variety of colors, and they're pretty cheap on Amazon, which I'll link them in the description below. But how I make the headers is I count out nine boxes across with one box in between each header to space it out, and it just works out perfectly. I also decided to use a journal with graph paper as opposed to a journal with dotted pages because I found that I can more easily draw straight lines without a ruler, which makes me really happy. And uh, if you're wondering what journal I have here, I'm using a hardcover moleskin notebook. Then I take my fine tip Sharpie pen to draw the basic lines in this spread. This pen writes so smoothly and it doesn't bleed through, so I'll be sure to link that and the notebook I'm using in the description as well. For each day here, I draw a line from the header to three boxes below it, skip two boxes to leave a space to record the weather, and then I draw one more line the rest of the way down the page. I used to use more lines in this spread, but I found that these are just enough to divide the days while still helping this spread maintain a simple, clean look. Then I use the same pen to write each day's date and the name of each day on the headers above. I'm a worship leader at my church, so I start my week on Monday because a lot of what I do during the week eventually leads up to worship service on Sunday, but obviously you can start your week with whatever day makes the most sense for you. With that being said, I hope you'll have some grace with me as my handwriting is not the best, but I've really been enjoying using my bullet journal to practice and get better. The other two headers I include here are for my weekly goals that are separated into personal and work, but you can divide your goals into as many sections as you need. Finally, I finish setting up this layout by writing the hours 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. down the left side of each page so I can use them as a reference for each day's hourly schedule. I've picked these hours because my goal is to get my morning routine started by 6 a.m. and then not have any scheduled appointments past 9. When I start actually planning my week, the first thing I do is I take out the calendar on my iPhone to see any appointments or commitments I've made and record them in my weekly overview here at the top. As you can see, each overview breaks down into three sections of the day, which stands for morning, afternoon, and evening. If I have more than three major appointments in one day, I take it as a signal to myself that I've probably committed to too much and should consider canceling or moving one to a different day. I also love this because I can see at a glance how busy my overall week looks, and thankfully this week actually doesn't look too bad. Then to give my daily schedules a kickstart, I transfer my commitments from the overview to the hourly schedule below. And I write these in capital letters so that they stand out when I start adding my to-dos. Sometimes I abbreviate these two as the full appointment name is already in the overview above. Finally, because who doesn't like color coding, I highlight each commitment with the appropriately colored highlighter to make them pop even more. This is when I start recording which goals are the most pressing for the week. These might have just come up, but many of them I pull from goals I didn't finish from the week before, or the pending goals yet to be done from my monthly spread. If you'd like to see how I do my monthly spreads, let me know in the comments as I have been thinking that might be fun as well. But here I'm just writing down some of my personal goals for the week, and then I'll write some of my work goals. 
If you remember, I do have two jobs, so what I do is I put the bullet points for the first jobs to do's on the left, and then the bullets for the second jobs to do's on the right. If I wanted a separate section for each, I'd have to predict how many spaces I needed for each job, but that number fluctuates from week to week. This way I can just add a continual list while still seeing which are which. So that's everything I do each Sunday to get ready for the week, and then I use what I've set up already to plan and record what I do each day that follows. The first thing I do when I open my bullet journal in the morning is look up the weather and record it at the top with a doodle, which just adds some fun to the day. Then I take a look at my weekly goals and start transferring which ones I can practically get done with things that I plan to do every week, like clean, set aside time to pray and spend time with God, and work out. With the hourly breakdown, I also try to schedule these out into different hour blocks, so I'm really planning effectively making the most of the time I have without overpacking my schedule. Then as I go throughout the day, I'll keep track of how many hours I've done each task by highlighting the boxes that represent those hours. This is another reason I decided to go with graph paper as it's easy to see that each box represents an hour. Then as I go through the day, I'll cross off what I got done. Uh, if it didn't get done, I will push it off to the next day. And if it's just not gonna happen, I'll cross it off entirely. Then I'll check off in the weekly goals what I finished so that it doesn't get transferred to the following week. And that's it! This was my first bullet journal tutorial, so if you like this spread and you'd like more tips on bullet journaling, please give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more like it. If you have any questions or other ways you think I can improve this spread, I'd also love to chat with you in the comments. And if one of your goals is to create a life that is more positive, productive, and purpose-filled, I hope you'll subscribe here and follow me on Instagram for more helpful tips. Hope to see you again soon, and thanks for watching!